Hi, Lisa Dodson here. Time to get to our third part of our home serve lesson. We've gone over the grip, the stance, the uh, take back, and in the second one we got to a pit position, which some of you know as trophy position, okay, somewhere around here. And so now we need to get from, from our up pit position to contact point of the ball. And you've all heard about pronation. And pro just don't worry too much about pronating. If your grip's in the right place, your arm really has to pronate. If you're going to the right contact point, that's a big part of this whole thing. If your contact point is incorrect, your grip is going to be just way too uncomfortable to even hold. So we have to make sure you have the right contact point. We're going to go over that really quickly first. If your grip is in the correct position, your racket is going to be approaching the ball. You can see the, my ball up here. I've got a yellow bandana up there. And you're going to see my positioning to where my ball toss would actually be. Here is the position of my racket down my back because of my grip. Notice that it's in this uh, sort of a halo position behind me. My fingernails are back towards my head and the edge looks like it's leading up to the ball. Well, I want my ball toss to be slightly to the right and forward of me. And this is for a, you know, a flattish to a slicer. And we're just being sort of general here, okay? So we do want the ball toss slightly forward and slightly to the right, and that will vary depending on your serves. And that doesn't apply to a kick serve or a topspin serve where the ball starts to move back a little bit. That's here we are, and we're gonna approach the ball. And you're gonna notice that the, the ball is pretty much in front of my right shoulder when I go up and hit. And my, my racket is coming up at an angle. And from there, our arm is gonna pronate, right? We're going up to the ball at this angle, and then we're gonna go over what pronating is, okay? But it's important to see first where your ball toss should be in relationship to your body. So let's see what pronating is. Um, it's supposed to be natural, uh, but it's, it can feel very uncontrolled and sort of weak to a lot of people, especially if you've been, been serving with a flat grip. So we'll go through the sequence of the drills just with your hands. First, we're just going to get in position. And I'm going to get in my up hit position. Good shoulder angle, left shoulder higher than the right. And I'm going to go up to the ball. And I'm just going to have it be really loose, like ugh, really, really floppy. And I'm just going to let my hand go up and boom. See what it does now? If you go up with the edge, if you go up with this karate chop edge, and just throw your hand and stop right here with your arm up in the air, your wrist is going to pronate. That's the way it's going to go. You know? So we're going to get the serve master. Put your hand on your grip. And we're going to do the same thing. And I'm going to stop at the uh, point of contact. Butt is coming out the right. Right? So that's all it looks like. It looks like this from the side. Right? It looks like maybe I'm trying to strain that, but I'm not. Uh, I'm just trying to keep my arm up and from stopping and dropping. So we're going here. We're going to do the same drill, except for now, when I go up to the ball, I'm now just going to let my wrist do what it wants to do and go out so that the butt of the racket comes out the right side of the hand. You can read my Wilson W over here. So when we approach the ball, the edge is going and our wrist goes over. So that's one good way to check yourself. Am I pronating? You can see if the, butt, if the butt of the racket is out the right side of the hand for a righty and out of the left side of the hand for a lefty, then you're on the right track. If you need to, go back and review lesson one and two and try and add this in. Work on it a whole bunch and we'll get the next video out in the next couple of days.